was that. And that's what happened. And then I came to school. So anyways, I know for sure in my study group, two people or two girls are perps. Um, that's for sure. And Anyways, um, that's for sure. One of them, uh, I got a picture of both of them, and I'll post them later. Um, one of them actually will stalk me. So, and she's done this the whole semester, spring semester. So, whenever I'm idle on, um, whenever I'm idle on my um, phone. And when I mean idle on my phone, I mean like whenever I do not move and I stay still. Um, like say I'm talking to somebody. This girl pops up out of the blue. And she'll just stand at a distance and pretend she's on her phone. When you do that consistently, you are a stalker. And you're um, following me. Um, she's done it consistently the whole semester. I could be outside. I could be in the student store. I could be in a classroom talking to people after class. Bam, she pops up. And I know she can track me through my cell phone. But she's a perp. And, you know, when somebody like that, whether they're a man or a woman, um, if you're a man, you know, I don't know if you're a rapist or what. And if you're a woman, I don't know if you're like a lesbian creep or what. You know, but when you, your behavior is that way and you're stalking me under the California law, it fits the definition. Then, yeah, you're in my space and I will document you, you know. And it seems like every semester I usually have a new one. But the whole semester, I have uh, the same group of people that will stalk me. And so now that, you know, I'm just going to start documenting it. And um, you get in my space and you start following me consistently Saturday and Sunday, you will get a picture and I will be talking about you. So anyways, um, and then the other one, which she does is... She will purposely, um, today we stood after to practice, and I know the girl was videotaping me because the way she was holding her phone, and then she puts her phone right by me and goes off and sits somewhere else, and sure enough, I started getting the frequencies from our phone. So I went on uh, Periscope real quick and did a real short video. The other one I caught at the student store and I knew she was going to pop up because I was in the student store shopping for t-shirts. And lo and behold, the skinny thing comes in. So I'm like, I'm going to get her too. So I got them both. You know, and hey, I don't care how much money or whatever they're giving you, but when you get into my space and you fall, you meet the definitions of stalking under California law, then yes, the whole semester, which is like six weekends, Saturday and Sunday all day, and you keep popping up consistently when I'm stagnant on my phone. And I mean when I'm stagnant on my phone. See, that's unnecessary breaking from that car. Kind of like Butterfly's video. So anyways, when you do that, that is like unnecessary, that is unnecessary and you are stalking me and you meet the definition of the state law of stalking. So
So anyway, that's girl meets it in my study group. One of them, she does meet the definition for sure. So um, that's like a positive thing that she does meet it. So um, I know that much for sure. So this car wants to tailgate me. So I'm going to go ahead and videotape them. And there you go, 6SFY875, gotcha. 7UPK221, Dodge. And that one goes, they're not getting on the freeway after all. So they know I'm not on Periscope, so they think I'm not recording, but I actually am recording. So anyways, that's what's going on with school. Um, and it's the end of the semester, so tomorrow is finals. And Then I'll start summer semester. Probably with a new group of stalkers, possibly. There's other ones in my classroom, but these two are my study group. The other girl that's in there, I don't know if she is or not. Um, or she even has the time to do it because she commutes. But the other two, they are most definitely. So I know for sure they are based on their behavior and what they do consistently throughout the semester. And I wondering if they're getting a discount in their tuition or what because I should get some kind of discount on my tuition I shouldn't have to be applying for loans and stuff if I find out people are getting like for free and stuff like that or getting these so-called scholarships and stuff or these grants anyways that's all I have to say right now uh, regarding the classes and getting diarrhea from uh, the mocha mix and stuff and then oh I just want to point out like in butterflies video a lot of the perps have uh, paper plates downtown LA that is not a dealership if you have paper plates you will have a dealership uh, tag paper tag with the license plate so that is definitely a perp in that Ford Explorer because you don't have paper plates like that. California law states you're supposed to have your license number on the paper plate. That's what they say. And so that's what I'm saying. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to end and I'm going to switch to Periscope.